to hear that kind of stuff. You know, it's just well. There's crazy, a, the crazy. problem is the problem is, you know, Catholicism getting you training you as a as a kid to raise you to worship the sun, so somebody else can have a golden throne. That's slavery. That's slavery. Raising you as a Catholic so somebody else can have a golden throne. That's slavery. Lying to you about Jesus doing all of these things that literally the sun in the sky does. I mean, the Bible says the son of God does these things. Yes, but not Jesus, the son of God, the sun in the sky. Mm -hmm. You know, you're asking me about Catholicism. So now I'm going to, I don't know about that pet, the things you're speaking about, but I, what I do know, the Pope lying about Jesus turning water into wine as the son of God. We know the son of God in the sky, the son of Hinduism does it, right? The son of God from, from Islam does it the son of god from all christianity did was lie and pretend it's their son of god who was born in the flesh they just lied about a bunch of shit to, to make to make themselves the only way you ever can get information about god or the creator that's making themselves a false god or a false prophet on earth the, right you know um i i can talk about that stuff but i can't talk about the pope in pedophilia i don't know anything about the pope yeah. doing anything about pedophilia and well, if I'm going to talk about pedophilia, it has, well, this is what I'm saying. In order for me to speak on something, I have to witness it. So when I talk about my neighbors, Al and Jerry, doing shit, killing people, you know, gang bangs with children present, I witness it. I'm a victim. I can't speak about the Pope because I've never seen him do that shit. I can only speak. I talk about Matt abducting my wife and, and setting up situations trying to get me to kill her. I lived that. I, I'm speaking about things I know. I don't know anything about the Pope. That you're what, what that the you can, only, what you can only talk about things that you've actually seen and witnessed. That's that's what you're basically, yeah, you yeah, can. like like a lot of this media stuff. It's just it's blinding us from something that's bigger and you know, kind of like um, like monkey see, monkey do, you know, like yeah, I guess a monkey see, monkey do. I, I can, I, I can tell you if you lived in my community as a young boy. We are training you to grow up to be a serial killer, a, a, a serial mm -hmm. rapist. Like literally, my Pierce County sheriffs, and you, I think probably to bolster their own budget, they're great. They're training children on how to commit crime. The, 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 so I'm the Pierce County sheriffs. I participate in a gangbang rape with you as a child present. I can never arrest you for any fucking crimes. Wow. Right? Because you wow. could turn me in for raping you as a child. Right, you're a minor having a gangbang. Even if you're willing, it's still rape. Right, you don't know. You don't. You don't have the mental fortitude to actually be willing. Does that make sense? We, we, we every government, every country has has said you're not you're not old enough to have the mental clarification or fortitude to make the right choice. So what is it? It's rape. So as a sheriff's department and, and military men having you participate in those things, we can never turn you in for crimes. We're raising. A, 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 a group of children who exist outside of the law. The law can never ever arrest you. I mean, literally, if I'm a sheriff and I did that to you, you can murder somebody and I can never arrest you without, for, without fear you'll turn me in. It is heavy, but he, he asked a question. I tell him, I, I can talk about what I know. We switch to the things I know. I did it. What's going on, brother? Not much. How you doing, sir? Hey, so uh, just wanted to kind of tap in with you, man. Probably been a follower here for about two, three weeks. Uh, got it off of the original uh, I'm autistic as shit meme. Thought you were just kind of like a comedian, but turned out, you know, I kind of been really interested in uh, all your posts. I noticed that what stand out to me the most isn't kind of like the philosophies and stuff, but how on a lot of things uh, touching with the, the pedophilia and the corruption, you tag uh, Pierce County in every single post related to that. So just I, I, I noticed things like that. And I, I respect, you know, the level of it. It doesn't matter if you do these things. There's people who aren't afraid to speak out about it. So just kind of th those are kind of the things that stand out to me most about what you're doing. Well, the, but, the reason I, I do that, the, so you're talking about tag, in real life, you know, the victims of the pedophilia and the sex trafficking and the rapes and the gang, a lot of women and children, 
got to watch me be offered genetic protocol, offered a, a line of Judah clothing brand. I got offered money to, to turn my back on these women and children so they could be raped for the rest of their lives. I'm only tagging it publicly to remind the people who offered me that stuff in exchange for my silence to cover up pedophilia and rape that the victims watched them offer me that shit. So if you're a child who's a victim and you pay attention to me, you get to watch me be offered things in exchange for my silence. Well, That's I, I want to touch on that too, man, because uh, first bribery, all, right? That's a bribery. Is it not? Yeah, absolutely. But uh, rest in peace to my friend. I want to start off with uh, kind of on topic of what you're doing. Uh, Mark Forsha is a uh, pedophile who uh, raped my friend when he was uh, a fifth grader. And uh, that lived with him for the rest of his life. And he OD'd. So uh, I, I want to just touch on that because you all you see these memes about, you know, you see all these general population talk about hunt your local pedophile. And, you know, these are people that we need to take care of, but they only talk about it. This man works actively with children in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and he actively has abused these children and people know it. And it was reported to the police there. And that's, that's the wall. That's, that's where it stops. And well, here's the thing though, here's the thing though, your job, right? If you're actually concerned, your job is to get other victims, Show uh, the victims, like you're saying there's victims, you start getting yourself and victims to start reporting stuff. You raise awareness. Here's the, here's the thing, brother. That's the it. Victim, no, there's no thing. No, Listen, here's the stop, thing is that stop, the stop. Victim that I knew, the victim that I knew is gone. I uh, you're not, you're not listening to what I'm victims. saying. You're not listening to what I'm saying. How do you find other victims if you don't raise awareness and start making posts yourself? I do. I've there gone. You go. because, because That's it. I, That's it. Stop. It's stop. The, it's at the stop. respect of... It, if he, I if get you. Listen to what I'm saying. Know, stop. Stop. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut you off my feet. Stop and just listen. Listen to what I'm saying. You don't, if it's real, there's other victims than the ones you know about. Absolutely. So I'm asking you, what are you doing to show those other victims that you don't know about that Can there's I still ask you, hope? If he didn't ever let anybody other than the people he was closest with know, how do I respectfully go about making it aware without you? You're not listening. On, I didn't say, I didn't say uh, the rest of the victim's friends. I said other victims. Right. No, I, I agree with you. Then just follow what I do. Watch what I do. And that's, watch hey, what, I that's do. what I'm doing. And I support what you're doing. I appreciate what you're doing. Yeah. Just, uh, I, I, you know, um, the other friend, and this is, I, I touched with the one friend, the other one who, who killed himself at Fort Campbell. It has bothered me to no end because it, it, the word got out about what happened. And he was in my unit. I, I, I treated him uh, as his medic. And there was no investigation. He was allowed a firearm inside of his barracks room, despite having multiple visits to EBH. It was very clear that he had mental problems documented. It was very clear with his leadership. And he killed himself in his barracks room. How was he allowed a firearm that he didn't own? How is he allowed? These well, wh How whoever gave it to him was resp is responsible for homicide. And that's what that's my how thing that works. is, is that my question to you from here, because this is a unit at Fort Campbell, how does that start if I'm no longer enlisted? How does that conversation start to go up and actually get a fair investigation to find out why? You just start posting shit at Fort Campbell. You just start posting shit everywhere. Just start posting shit and tagging places. I... I'm here for the journey, man. I'm gonna do my part, and I look forward to seeing. Yeah, just start literally. Just start man. making posts and start tag tagging places. Hey, I appreciate you, but hey, I'm I'm shaky because those are my two brothers that are no longer with me, man. I got you. Hey, y'all making I, fun of my voice, but it's it's emotional to talk about your dead friends, you know. Hey, God bless you, man. I appreciate all you do, bro. God bless you too. If it'll let me, there it goes. Go live. Go live. No way. How you doing, sir? Good. How are you? Wow, this is amazing. I can't believe I'm on here. I've been what? following you for a couple, almost a year or two now. Yeah, this dude just got jacked up by a llama. 
It's just so you guys know what I'm doing while I'm stimming. I'm watching a dude get beat up by a llama. Anyways, what can I do for you? Well, I'd, what do you think about aliens, Martin? We don't have any proof of their existence. You don't think so? I know so. This is the thing. The difference between you is I use an I I, I look at things with an with a honest aspect. I don't allow my ego to lie to myself. So you go, okay, if if I'm going to believe in aliens visited the planet. What would be involved in aliens visiting the planet? And so I go, okay, let me just apply myself going to South America. If I go to South America, I can get a disease or virus that will kill me because I didn't grow up there, right? If you go to Africa, you could get a disease or virus that will kill you because you didn't grow up there. You have to actually get all kinds of vaccines and medications, take pills, so you don't die. And I'm just going to Africa to, to be around other humans. You're just going to South America to be around other humans. Now... If an alien race came from another planet, they'd have viruses and bacteria that I'm not, I don't have an immune system to. Just an alien farting in, in, in Earth's atmosphere would kill all humans on the planet instantaneously. We know that there's no alien contact because no, no continent has, has uh, 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 experienced an entire, entire mass casualty. And when I talk about that, I don't mean just – they don't talk about um, other life bringing something that kills just us. It could, they could bring a virus or, or blight that wipes out all plants on, on, on the earth. We no longer have food. We no longer have crops to feed our animals. We no longer have fruits. Mm. We no longer have veg. Literally, it could kill all the animals, and we no longer have meat. Right? There's all kinds of things in real life to take into consideration that you have to pretend don't exist to fuel your fantasy about aliens coming and, and visiting you. But mm. I know today, like with, with, with alien inductions, like you, you talk about being alien and abducted. I, I know by the level of, of, of security that somebody comes to visit you if they're taking you serious or not. If you state you were abducted by aliens and the government actually believes you, your entire town goes on lockdown because of the spread of communicable diseases. Your whole town, the sheriffs, the police, the EMT, the hospital, the high school, the middle school, the, the, the junior high, the, 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 the kindergarten, everything, the baker, the gas station, the barber, the whole – nobody can make phone calls. Nobody can use the internet. Nobody can call. Nobody can leave. Nobody can do anything because we don't want you guys who now have a disease from an alien killing the rest spread, of the planet. Yeah, start spreading shit, yeah. So when does that happen? Never. So just common sense tells me we, don't ha we haven't had any contact with aliens yet. Nobody's, we don't have a con like nobody's going, don't go to Australia, an alien touched down there and all life on that continent is dead. Okay. But you what, see what I'm getting at? Yeah, I see what you're getting at, but don't you think, but if. Like, that's it. That's it. Common sense. Stop. You can't let your, you can't let go. Don't you think run wild. That's where people get to stupidity. Hold on. I let you speak. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'm helping you, but I'm letting you speak, but I'm just saying, I want you to yeah. think about it. Right, when, I'm, th I'm thinking about it. I think, you go, I'm thinking what you're saying into consideration. But, and this is what I'm getting at. You have to stop. Is it real? If it's real, allowing your mind to run further after you've proven what uh, uh, your thought doesn't work is just allowing your ego to teach yourself not to learn things correctly. So you go, yeah, I can't visit Africa because I'll get a disease. Africans can't visit me because they'll get a disease. Obviously, that would apply to aliens. Mm -hmm. I need to stop right there and go, okay, let me, let me realign my train of thought to keep going down – a path with real information so I can teach myself. You don't go, yeah, I can't visit Africa. I can't, they can't visit us because everybody will die. And I'm not going to, I'm just pretend it doesn't exist for aliens so I can continue down this path. What am I doing? I took, I, I allowed myself to go, hey, look, here's a, here's a fork in the road. One way goes down to some bullshit that'll never, never allow me to learn anything. Let's take that fork in the road that goes nowhere. Or do I go, okay, bacteria and viruses. Let me study epidemiology. Let me study this to see how it applies to other races, other civilizations, aliens, right? Educate yourself on r the real stuff that would take place. You get what I'm saying? Wouldn't you, think, wouldn't you think that they would be more advanced and have more You're fucking more stupid. Knowledge? Stop. Just because they're more advanced, what does that have to do with viruses and bacteria? <laughs> I'm not I, – I, 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 think about that. What, just because you're fucking smart, does that mean you know about all viruses on, on a planet you've never been to? You expect just because you're – look at me. Just, just, no matter how smart they are, mm -hmm. 
Does that mean that they know how, how all of their viruses and bacteria will affect us and ours will affect them? No. Right? You don't know until you do an experiment. What's the experiment? We showed up and everybody died. Now you get somewhere. They're smart enough to, go, now we're going to get somewhere. An alien life. I know. If I went to Mars and they, they give me a mission to go to another planet, I would go, hey, wait a minute. If I step on this other planet that you think there's life, I'll kill everybody. As soon as I squeeze a tear out, as soon as I cough, sneeze, fart, breathe, dandruff, dead skin, dust mites, the oil from my skin will kill all life on that planet. Don't we want to observe it from a distance first before I kill it all? And well, you, you don't think enough. Now, now, now hold on. Now you go. Now, now other life wouldn't go before I kill all the humans by visiting them. Shouldn't we study them for, you know what I mean? Shouldn't we just ignore it for a while? That's what I'm getting at. If you know we would kill all life if we visited it, and another life would kill our life, all life on earth if it visited us, it's real information. Now, you, you can't be so stupid to go, well, they can be smart enough to just make sure we don't get sick. Well, how would they be smart enough to make sure oh, well, we don't I get would, sick? I wouldn't think that necessarily. Well, this is, let me help you, but I'm gonna, listen. How would they know what doesn't kill us all? until after it killed us all. Well, wouldn't you think if they take that same same mindset as to, oh. Exactly. If we're, if That's what I'm saying, yeah. We now you're getting somewhere. Their, we step into their tor territory. We don't. Now we're getting somewhere. We fucking don't. Now we're getting somewhere. How does, um, now we get somewhere. Let's apply your logic. Does Earth just land on a planet with humans and observe it? No. no. We actually have to send a sterile satellite into the, into the atmosphere. And we observe the planet first. We don't even allow the satellite to touch ground till we've uh, we've assessed the area as having no life mm -hmm. you go why does nasa make sure there's no life anywhere a rover or a satellite touches down and they tell you because if there's life where we're sending it we don't want to kill it all first well why yeah, would that apply to us that's kind of why like uh, i'm pretty sure you've heard like there was like one one time like a satellite up near i think around jupiter but they didn't want it to it was kind of like um fuck i'm trying to bring it in my mind real quick um uh, <laughs> like right. malfunctioning or something and so they didn't want yeah, to get down to europa i think it was so they sent it straight into jupiter instead yeah but, you don't want to send it somewhere where we don't know there's life yet yeah right but how would we not know that there's possibility of life even on a gas planet like that because like we that. check first we check first right we check you see what i'm getting at you're you're, you're mm -hmm. We we can't, we won't even land a we won't even land a satellite or a rover on a planet that we don't that we haven't assessed for life yet. And you think you think somebody else is going to do that? Like fuck it, there was humans on the planet, but we landed first. No, no, you got to have some common sense. Epidemiology, diseases, zootonic plagues, and things like that. That applies to all life, not just life on Earth. Makes sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I'm it applies to everything. It applies to everything. All right. So, main gist of it, you don't believe they're real at all. Zero. Not I didn't. I didn't say. Listen, knowledge. I'm saying. I didn't say. I, I'm saying we have no evidence. No evidence. Okay. I'm saying. Uh, I'm not saying that they don't exist on another planet. I'm just saying currently we have nothing on Earth that proves the existence of aliens. Nothing. Not a sh not a single shred of evidence. We actually have nothing, and that's where the Fermi paradox. Now you think about this. I'm going to help you. You're stating, oh, they might have came, and you're talking about the Anunnaki, and you go, well, the people who read about the Anunnaki state it's actually Jesus, Yahweh, the God of every religion. Like, so they, they go, even the ancient Sumerian and Babylonian, there's no information about aliens in any human, in any civilization. There's nothing. And they come up with that Fermi paradox. right? If aliens do exist... They're not going to contact us. Mm. They're not going to come to Earth. I mean, there's literally, in physics and science, they actually address aliens as the, like, I think it's called the Fermi Paradox. If alien life does exist, they would not be dumb enough to come to Earth. But you, that was just, the greatest minds in the world got, the whole planet got together and went, if alien life exists, they wouldn't be stupid enough to come here. And you're going, well, I don't have an education, but I, I believe I'm smarter than, than every person who came before me. I'm smarter than every person at every college. I'm smarter than every person at every government organization. I'm smarter than every person at every military. I'm the smartest fucking person in the world. I believe that they that they did. 
Or I wasn't necessarily saying that. They I, I, I know, but I, I didn't say you. I'm just saying you got to put it in the context when you yeah. say, right? What are you saying when you when you go, I believe that aliens have contact? You're, you're saying, I believe I'm the smartest person in the world. I can disprove every science laboratory, every government, every military in the world. Like, I don't believe you can. You're right on that. You, you see what I'm getting now? Yeah, I see where you're getting now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Somebody said, Martin clearly has not has not tried DMT. <laughs> you know, DMT is something your brain releases so you can have a hallucination. You think less when you dream at night and you get pure DMT, you know it's a dream. We call that hallucination. It's a dream. And if you thought it was real, you'd be considered delusional and you'd have to go see a doctor, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if a drug dealer tells you your hallucinations on DMT are real, then it becomes real. If somebody wants to exploit you for money, then DMT is real. But the rest of the time, it's a bullshit delusion called a dream. Use your head like common sense. You slept last night and your brain released DMT and you thought you were Mickey Mouse and the president of Venus. You woke up in the morning. Are you Mickey Mouse and the president of Venus? No. Why? Because it was a dream. What is a dream? A hallucination. And in believing that hallucination, what is that called? Delusion. Delusion. So... A drug dealer who wants to make money off of you, it's okay to believe in the delusions when somebody wants to exploit you. Seems kind of fucked up. <laughs> but would you try it, though? Fuck no. I ain't fucking stupid. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, think about this. You can look at podcasts right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to help you. Does DMT make you smart? You can listen to pop people on a national syndicated podcasts after they've done a massive amount of DMT, they're the dumbest fucking people that exist. And I'm not saying that they're telling the world, like they're like, ah, you know, watch them, watch the shit. I mean, yeah, they're yeah. famous. I mean, because of their stupidity. And this is what's funny. There's people who do a massive amount of DMT and they think they're famous because they're personable and people like them. They're famous because it's just comical. Like people talk like, you see that dude did a bunch of fucking DMT and for three months he talked about fucking monkeys eating humans. That's funny. Yeah, and That's funny. You do, do it multiple times in one day. In one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and what they just, they're just, I mean, literally, you, it's like, a, I saw you do DMT on Friday and literally during your podcast, you asked a girl, like, you didn't ask her to go on a date. You didn't, they're like, you want to fucking breed? We should breed. Let's breed. Like, that's how your brain put your logic together. It dumbed you down so much you couldn't you couldn't even say, let's go on a date. You know, would you like to go to the beach? All you can like, let's breed. Let's breed. You want to breed? And the literally, girls are like, fuck no. Like, literally. One of the, like, in psychology, they're like, here's DMT. Here's a, here's a very famous person who did DMT, and he can't even ask a girl out on a date post-DMT. In the middle of his DMT high, he probably thought, he probably goes like, I'm wearing a tuxedo, I'm, I'm laying down the, the Mac, I'm spitting game, like this shit is coming, in his brain he's like, hey baby, you know, I, I, I wine and dine you, we go to a beach, da, 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 but it came out, we'll fucking breed, that's DMT. <laughs> in his brain, in his brain he was dreaming, oh baby, I got you, but, you know, we'll go to the beach, you know, you know I, I'm sure he thought he was spitting real game, but what came out of his mouth was, we'll fucking breed, we'll fucking breed. <laughs> I think that's just hilarious. Then you ask him, like literally, you ask him, hey, when you were asking that girl about sex on your podcast, now that you're not on DMT, can you spit those those games at me again? And they're literally like, oh, yeah, baby, this is what I said. I went, hey, baby, you want to go on a date and go to the beach? I'll put you, I'll fly you in my private jet, yada, yada. Like, no, you didn't say that shit. You said you want to breed. You dream the rest of it. <laughs> what if, uh, what's it called? Since you're talking about DMT, what if Joe Rogan invited you to a podcast and asked you to nope. DMT with him? You Fuck no. Joe Rogan is the biggest ally of cartels and terrorist organizations. Did you know they consider him one of their biggest assets? He's the number one recruiter for customer recruiter for cartels and terrorists. I can see. I can see. I can see where you get that from. I can see. It's not that I get. It's a fact. That, Who's the who has a national broadcasted global podcast telling people to do drugs and DMT, and, and where do you get them as a as a as a as a 
as a fan of Joe Rogan, who's now been convinced to buy DMT, LSD, and all that shit, where do you get it from? The pharmacy? The military? Or a terrorist organization or cartel that's got field soldiers in your community selling it? Where do you get it? Cartel. From, from that. Right now, right, 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 right. And, and, and literally, I saw this one time, Joe Rogan, he's like, I got fuck you money. And they go, what do you mean by that? Like, I got fuck you money. Like, I, I advertise drugs for the cartel. I got like, I got I could, like, fuck you. Like, you like, fuck you. I advertise drugs on a national scale for the cartel. You, I'm fucking untouchable. Literally, he, he said that. I got fuck you money. I'm untouchable. And they asked him on the privates, why are you untouchable? Where are you getting all the drugs from? Where, where's my fan base get all the drugs from? You get what I'm saying? I get, yeah, I see what you mean. Wow. Untouchable. I love the way you think. I'll be honest. Well, thank you, Martin. It was nice talking to you. This is God bless. Crazy, crazy experience that I got to talk to you. No problem. God bless. You too. God bless. Everything's a substance. I got fuck you money. My, I shouldn't be cussing, but I cuss because I've been a, lot, a, a, a bunch of people who cuss. Please see my cipher. Go live. Hey, buddy. God bless. How you doing, sir? I'm doing God bless great you today, sir. Yes, sir. You said, you said Cypher, Bill Cypher. Yes, sir. My, um, as, as in the terms of my third eye. But, 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 third but, but, Bill Nye the Cypher guy. I got a Bill, puzzle Bill, for that. Bill, Bill Nye the Bill, Cypher Bill. guy. Yeah. Bill, Bill, Bill. This is a Bill Nye the Cypher guy. Okay. Now, Cypher is a, is a character from a, a fantasy, mm. Gravity Falls, Cypher. Right, you know Cypher from Gravity Falls? Yes, yes. And and Cypher from Gravity Falls is the image on the back of a dollar bill. What's a Cypher? A key. Hmm. A Cypher is a key to a riddle. Hmm. Bill Cypher. Nah, the Cypher guy. It, it's a Bill Cypher. A Cypher is a key to cryptography. Okay. That makes sense. I, I have a really... What is, have, hold on. What know, is cryptography? Your time, oh, while, go ahead. While I have your time, I have a super dire question that I think only you yourself could answer. Uh, go ahead. I've been... I've been uh, my dad's Marines. My, my whole family's Marines. Very... Uh, whether it's ex-military or active duty. Uh, and I was raised extremely Christian. Uh, but what I want to do with my life is design clothes and make music. What my father wants me to do uh, since ROTC, since uh, going into Eagle Scouts, et cetera, is he, he's, he wanted me to be uh, in the Marines by the time I was 18. Well, I'm 21 now, doing what I can. Uh, how, how do you think without his disownment? Uh, because I will, I will go to the Marines. It's just I would rather my personal dreams to work out over that career since that's Well, so, that's so, so think about this. So what do you want to do with your career? Uh, I would like to uh, be a uh, clothing designer and make music. Now, now, when people chase their dreams, they have to have a job that pays the bills while they chase their dreams. I do door-to-door -door sales as well. Well, I'm just yeah. saying, though, the Marines, a very rigid schedule that will provide you all the resources you need to follow your dreams if you don't get caught up in all the bullshit. As in what? what uh, I, I'm, That's I'm it. Quite, I'm quite aware of the bullshit, but you mean, um, what's your what's your definition of said bullshit? My definition doesn't matter. Just, oh, you know, yeah, it, I it, think it, 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 it gives you every, it gives you all the tools you need to follow your dreams. If you don't get up and and get caught up in bullshit, and bullshit is wasting your money going to the bar. Oh right? no, Race, no, no, wait, no, no, you know, waste wasting your money. Twenty one. No, I don't. Well, yeah, do but that. you know, that's a lot of fucking people in the military that like literally, they're like. We we like the the the, the, US, the people don't pay attention. The United States Congress literally is uh, underpins the alcohol industry. The United States military, like, 
it would they'd go bankrupt without the military. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Literally, like Anheuser Busch, like people stop the military stop drinking beer, they'd be fucked. Like if I was yeah. the military, yeah. if I was the military, I I would be like, let's get a coalition together where they give us all some kind of discount because they will go out of business without us. Why pay full price when we can pay half? Like literally, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a business standpoint. To be honest, uh, it's just it's terrible that America would take human lives uh, to that degree. Uh, in my opinion, that's my biggest. I I, I but they'll they'll, they'll 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 facilitate you. I mean, it'll it'll give you everything you need. You'll get everything you need to fulfill the dream. I, and if I, your I, dreams I, don't, I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If your dreams don't come true, like 99% of people's don't, you'll yeah. still have the Marines yeah. to fall back on. Exactly. Were you act? Were you active duty, sir? I'm nobody. No. I don't even know how to explain it. So I went to sign up. I went to sign up, and a bunch of different organizations showed up, and they, you know, you have to do certain things, and I refused to do certain things. Yep. I've had I've had Secret Service mail talking about pre drafts and that if I don't mail it back by a certain date that I'm con committing a federal crime, all of this stuff just because my dad has obviously pre enrolled me in a lot of stuff using my social or whatever, uh, hoping that I would just jump on his bandwagon as long as the rest of my families. I I do believe I should, but uh, I I I've given myself the deadline of twenty five if if you know uh. I'm 21 right now, making about 40,000 a year. If, yeah. if if I if I can meet my deadlines by 25, then I'm not going. But if I if I fall down like you said, there's a plan B. There is a plan B. There is a plan B. But I I don't want to get caught up in quote unquote bullshit or in what my father wants me to do. Uh, the act act more active forces. I don't want to harm people, no matter the payment, no matter the coin. You know. No matter how how much assistance I can, but, have, I mean, there's, I but can here's have. the thing though: you're, you're there's literally hurt, hurting people's like five jobs out of the millions that exist. I mean, you think of like literally, I, there's two bases in my state full of fucking men. You know how many of them are gonna go fucking kill somebody? Maybe less than a hundred. Yeah. Out of, out of all those thousands, and out of those hundred, maybe ten of them are trigger pullers. If you get what I'm saying. Interesting. Yes. My, yeah. 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 That, I've, I've spoken to recruiters that have been, that have been doing it for 10 plus years. They've not had to put their finger on a trigger whatsoever, but they're still in the lines of Marines. My dad's pushing me to what he did during, during yeah, the but Marines need a mechanic, need aviation, you know? And I assume yeah. what I always tell him is it has to be tremendously different from 30 years ago. It has to be like, so much, it's just so so much is just lost, right? The, like right. right, I look at the military right now; it's just fucking broken, right? And I don't Me mean too. to be rude or nothing. Like, no, I sit back and I like I call people like you know because I get lonely. I'm like you know, seventy fifth Ranger Regiment. Yeah. I know you don't know who I am, but I'm fucking I have autism and I'm lonely right now. Can I speak to somebody who speaks raw? I just want to stock. I just want to have a conversation in raw so I can relive some old memories and have a, you know go to bed with a smile on my face no like we don't have fucking anybody interesting no no that's the thing you don't you don't have anybody at all and i it's 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 um like i saw some the military go, go you know going th things i'm like hoorah i'm like yeah who's raw i'm like Who it's supposed raw? to be who's thank you I'm thank like, you this is, like, this is they go who's raw and then you wait you make your way up to the top and it's hoorah you don't know what Who's you're. Wrong? You, Look, I'll show you. You don't, you, don't, show you. you don't know what you don't know what you're feeding into. That's my biggest thing. That's my. If that is the problem. Thing. Now we get somewhere. Now I'm gonna get. I'm gonna help you. When when I went go, you know, listening to the, every soldier at Lewis McCord Banger in Washington State who didn't know who Ra is, the chain of command decided they they didn't have the honesty and integrity to even tell them what the fucking candidates means. That's scary. Like you have a whole. We, we have. 15 states with military official that enlisted was deemed not to have the honesty and integrity to even know what hoorah means. Hoorah. Mm. Which is nothing compared to, to other shit. Like, that's, like, there's a fucking serious problem going on. Like, there's some shit going on. Like, something's fucked up. Like, right. Like, right. the I, entire I, leadership I, I, chain. I, 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 
I truthfully think yeah. it's more satanic than a lot a lot of people. Uh, it's not satanic. It's not satanic. It's no. It's just people who ignorance. It's it's ignorance is slightly satanic. <laughs> no, it's it's just ignorance. <laughs> uh, doing something because you don't know. Hold on. Doing something. Yeah, I mean, still, doing yeah. something because you don't know, as opposed to doing something because you know it's bad, is not. Right? One is say I'm going to do it because it's bad. And, that's satanic. Well, I'm gonna, I'm doing it because I don't know any better. That's not satanic. It's just you don't know any better. That's true. That's true. Your your brain is always fifteen steps ahead. Uh, uh, I I have um, I there's multiple multiple different forms of autism. I I fortunately have high functioning autism to the point to where uh, you won't be able to really tell having a conversation with me. It's it's more it gets down to the meticulous things that are. Oh, that guy is autistic for sure. And when oh, you froze. I lost him. I feel like I'm never gonna be happy again. Sorry, hold on. What's up, Martin? Looking What's good, up, bud. sir? How you doing? Um, you always like, always like, give your simple truth out, and a lot of people have problems um, speaking their simple truths because it's so easy to lie to everybody. Um, I'm not gonna like sit here and talk with you. I just want you to project, like, how people have the confidence in their simple truths to stop fucking lying to people because that's people get confused because they don't know what's real and what's not. So just Say what you know is true. Like like this thing with like everyone's talking about religion every day with you, and like I'm a little over it, but it's people want to. Yeah, no, I get. Yeah, I, I talk about. like that's what people don't understand. My my, and my my wife is like, you fuck. It's so annoying. You're you're beating a dead horse. I'm like, baby, it's different people all over the world. Like I have a, yeah. it, I can have the same conversation four million times, and it'd be four million different people. It's not beating a dead horse to yeah, the yeah. person who had it once. Yeah, but like it it, it comes down to like. Like you learn fire is hot by touching fire and burning yourself, and then like it's making you simple truth. Like you can trust print, but like man has this thing inside of him where he wants to lie to you to like get a, a a leg up on you, because now I know something you don't. And you're taking my word for it, and I'll charge you. That's what you like. You're you're gonna say that every day probably, but it, it's people don't have the confidence just to be honest with themse themselves and. Uh, I'm like who they are. So like, it's important to, because I don't know if you know, like people lie about who they are all the time. So it's bad to do it. Don't lie, everybody. That's all I wanted to say. The, 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 the thing with what you're saying about not lying, everybody, in order for that to actually happen, people have to be, have to be taught to recognize when they're lying. Because right yeah. now we teach, we raise you to grow up to be a liar, right? Christopher Columbus yeah. discovered America. Tell everybody that. Well, you know it's not true, and you say <laughs> that. What? What do we teach you as a school to lie? Yeah. Uh, Jesus yeah. turned water into wine. Well, no, the sun in the sky does that, yeah. not the sun of Christianity. But we taught you to lie, so we raise you as a child, lying. Well, how do you know? How do you even recognize when you're lying if all you all you were raised doing is being taught how to lie? Yeah. Yeah. So go out there and like do your research, uh, flip over every rock, and, and write your own damn book because don't take people's word for it, man. It's not going to work out like that. Yeah. And then you find your own truth, and then you're confident with yourself and you saying everything you say. Yeah, so that, I love that. You, you find your own truth, 
And when you find it, I'll be standing there waiting for you. That's right. Hey, peace and love, Martin. God bless you, bud. Have a repetition. God bless. Yeah, you guys can all find your own truth. And when you stand, when you find it, you'll realize I've been standing there the whole time. I was just completely invisible. I was standing there the whole time. There's my friend. There, you're back. How are you? Pretty good. This is a very interesting feed. It yes. froze exactly. For, you know. I really didn't. I didn't. I don't know what happened. I think Instagram crashed. Um, I, I have extremely high functioning autism and uh, a lot of, you know, I didn't, I didn't get to find out myself until I was about 14, 15 later Damn, on. That must life. suck. Yeah. I it, feel it, so it, bad for people who find out they got autism at 14 years old. That's yeah, the fucking worst. It, it, they it, used it, to have it, such it, a hard time. It took the I'd be like, oh man, you're so far, like literally, you found out you had autism at, at 14, you're 10 years behind the game. Yeah. yeah. Literally, it, it 10 years that, behind the game. That. 10 years is a long time. Yeah, it was <laughs> to not bad. be taught something, and uh, is for uh, high functioning uh, autism. That's a huge. That's a. It's a PhD. Yeah, would you say so? But, you know, it, finding the different high functioning autism, being diagnosed from from preschool and kindergarten to being diagnosed as a as a as a junior high is literally cost cost your kid three PhDs, right? Three doctorates. Right. I mean. It's it. It's a, lot it's of a money. huge. That's, that's not. Money. It's, it's not. Money. Here's the thing. It's not money. You get it for free. If we diagnose you as high functioning autism as a child, mm -hmm. you get all the information that, that that adults have to pay for it when they go to college for free, right? When you're 18 and you want to go to college, it costs money because every 18 year old is is jumping at their coattails to have that information. When you're deemed, when you're diagnosed at four or five years old as being worthy of that information, every college and every government institution is lining up to give you information because right. you're one of the only few people at that age who can give them a perspective of that information. Right, right, right. So uh, right. Adults, adults line up to get the information and then adults line up to give children the information depending on where you get, where you, where you get your assessment. Yeah, you, you, you are waiting to be analyzed essentially. And uh, I, I don't like that feeling. I stopped seeing my psychiatrist and, and my who, whoever was analyzing me from a young age to being 18. I as soon as I got a adult ship of my own, I kind of just no, nope, no, dad, I'm not going to the military. And I'm not. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Essentially, you, you can probably completely understand. Uh, well, yeah. So like literally it was like uh, 2000. So I had a lot of I have a lot of military people come in and out of my life and things like, right. About two two thousand. You and, can go to the Marines with autism. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. But the Marines is fucking autism. Anyway. The Marines is the Marines is fucking autism. You have you have, you have uh, comedic value too. That's what I love about you. You're so smart, <laughs> but you 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 also have a comedic value to you that is also smart in itself. It's you. You know what you're doing, man. No. no. I just be myself and see how it works. Anyways, what was I, what was I saying? I forgot already. You got you distracted. Uh, um, the military, the Marines is autistic. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. So, see, so you'll say, you can't join the Marines if you have autism. That's not really necessarily true. No. What, so, the Department of Defense has things about autism, but basically what it says is you can't join the Marines – until we assess your level of autism, because you might be too smart for the Marines. You can't join the Rangers until we assess your level of autism to de determine if you're too smart for the Rangers. In real life, you can skip every branch of the military and go straight to the CIA, the NSA, and the DOD. When you, sign, when, you sign, when you sign up for the Airborne Rangers, you sign up for the Army, you sign up for the Marines, the Coast Guard, the Navy, you sign up for any branch of the military with high-functioning autism, the rule about not being able to join the military with autism doesn't mean with autism you can't join the military. It means with aut with autism, if you're sm a certain level of intelligence, right? Yes, you go to the Department of Defense that runs the military. That's fucking, right? that's fucking weird. But, right, the DOD. What do they do? 
<laughs> all the military, that's all they want to do is be part of the DOD. Oh, the fucking Navy. DOD, we're DOD. I mean, they make fun of the, they make the fun of the Coast Guard. <laughs> I was thinking about it. They make fun of the Coast Guard, I think, for not being included in the DOD. Like, literally. Yeah. Uh, it's a joke. Like, it's a long-running joke. Like, it, you know, you're, is, the, is the Coast Guard even real military? Because they're yeah. not included with the DOD. I, it's a, that, it's a long-running joke. My dad, that's what my dad has implemented in me growing up. Coast Guard's a fucking joke. They have nothing to do with the D&D at all. Yeah, so, that, so you think about it. It's a, it's a long, now you think about it. It's a long-running joke. So you, there's, like, every military makes fun of the Coast Guard for not being part of the DOD. And then you go, well, what, what, what? What's this with autism? Well, if you have certain autism, you go straight to the DOD. Right. You skip right. over SEALs. You skip over Delta Force. You skip over all of that. You, are, you automatically, at 18 years old, are, are, are considered a higher ranking without any fucking training. You're already higher ranking than every, every person in the military. It's crazy. It seems weird, just but that's just how it works. Uh, um, their analyzation of you. Yeah, they, yeah, they're your assessment. Like, well, mm, like, yeah, like you got high functioning autism and your IQ is a one fifteen, you can join the Marines. Yeah. You you have high functioning autism and your IQ is a one forty, you might be Air Force. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> you got high functioning autism and you're above one seventy, you don't even go to the military. You can be at they can ask you, do you want to join? No, I don't you have the option to just tell them piss off. I'd rather I'd rather just go fuck around on my own, literally. But with, with, I, my, with my dad being aware of both things that he wants for me, for me including my autism, uh, he, he would also know these things, right? Instead of, I, I, I know that he's pretty like high ranking, um, not sure what he does, but he's been active duty almost 45 years and that's a long time. So he, he can apparently get me where, I, where he wants me at but where where he wants me at, and my brain um, does two not different like. things. My brain does not like. I, I don't want to hurt people. I don't want to. Uh, I I know I know firearm control, but I don't want to at all times. That's my whole life. You know, I don't want that to be the whole. You know, I don't firearm want control. One time, I just this was my state dependent memory. One yeah. time, I got a nine millimeter, and they said no firearm control. Ha, huh. 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 hmm. huh. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> it was a nine. It was My like turn. a scene. It was like a scene from what is that from? Uh, where Will Smith is, you know, Bullseye or Deadshot? No oh, fuck, I don't know. What is that? What is that? What is that with Will Smith? Comments. What 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 movie is that? Suicide oh. Squad. Literally, suicide like a scene. Squad. Of, there we go. Uh, yeah. the suicide yeah. Squad. Literally, literally. <laughs> I got handed over to them to some, from the from the police to the military one time, and they gave me a nine millimeter. That's funny. And I asked, "Are you are you sure? Are you it's positive? loaded? Are you sure you want to give me this? Are you? Do you I'm own firearms teasing. yourself I'm teasing. now? Never I'm just teasing. It never happened. Oh, oh. Well, do you own firearms yourself now? Since you're ex, I have a lot. I own. A, I own quite a bit of. I own quite a. I own quite a. I own go. quite the arsenal, if that makes like, yes, you know, sir. I speak raw. So, and I don't think people understand that I speak raw. So if, if your dad was somebody who grew up around somebody who spoke raw and can't speak it, and he heard me speak it, he just write me some shit left in his will. Like, you'd be like, where'd all my dad's machines going to go? And I'm like, I just got to create a fucking machine guns in the mail. Again. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like That's pretty bad something ass. went to this other place again. Like, literally, like. The storage, like, look, I got another drop off at storage. Like, what is it? More fuck, more shit. Like old, like I, I, like, yeah. I don't, I don't use this stuff, but I, I, I own. I could, I could arm a, I could arm a, a small insurgent. I can oh, arm a mail. Yeah. Well, but, but what you're saying is, you know, you don't go out of your way to build AR-15s and such as a hobby just because you're ex-military. You know, you don't. Yeah, I, I'm. I got this new Glocky with the fucking uh, one beam. Blah, blah, blah. Like you're not. Like that, I don't. I don't no, you can. I, 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 you can have that, and I'll just take a spoon. Right, right. But I also. Like, you, 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 some people they like look at my Glock. It's got a you know laser scope and blah 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 iron. I took off the iron sights and put on some some fluorescent uh, iron mounts. These news like uh, well, yeah. I have this. Got the spoon. I got. I got a vape. Here we go. Vaping. I got vape. this. <laughs> you with your cannabis, man. Right, you're like you know. Uh, you know, stacking, uh, stack. You know, putting, putting. 
I, you know, I can tear tear firearms apart and put them together relatively Cannabis quickly. Cannabis helps your your um, your control with emotions, your emotional stability uh, when it comes to having autism. It, it's, it doesn't, so I'll help you. It does, but it's not the control of the emotional stability or that, that does. I, 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 I took a bunch of CBD and THC last night before I went to bed. I slept, I do it while I sleep so I don't have to deal with the shit when I'm awake most of the time. Today, like right now, I'm still suffering from the effects. And I say suffering, which is a benefit. I'm still suffering from not being able to hear my fucking refrigerator be buzzing. I'm still suffering from not being able to hear my the That's water so drip off my That's hot tub, off the roof of my hot tub uh, uh, structure, and bounce on my damn hot tub. I'm I'm still under the influence where I'm not hearing the water drain from the gutters off my shed behind my house. I'm still under the influence where that I can't. I don't hear so my neighbors good. turning their damn. I don't hear my neighbors turning their faucets on. Yes, and you don't understand. Like you, sitting dog. here talking thank to you, you. Thank you. Sitting here talking to you. Listen to my fucking neighbors talk shit. Like I can hear them. Like not like like. I have a, yeah, I'm, a, I'm emotional. Like it, what what emotions? I can hear my neighbors when they talk shit. I can hear when they wash their fucking dishes. I hear when they yeah. fart. And that's and, that, and when you, I, now when you do get to smoke uh, or cannabis. I can't hear that stuff. It's all shut out. It's all shut out. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you you feel less. So say say for example, my biggest thing with. Uh, what I what I deal with with my autism is uh, uh, overwhelming emotions, things that make me sad, make me very sad. Things I have overwhelming happy, emotions too. Make me really happy, but you yeah. include the the very uh, meticulous things that bother you may bother you may bother it bothers me when I hear my neighbors downstairs just walking in because I can hear it. Uh, I, it's like I can, noisy, isn't it? I the world's loud. It's a loud place to exist. Bothered. Yeah, I can hear my cat in the litter box four four rooms away at three in the morning in a dead asleep. I'll wake up and just because your brain is always um um you probably know the word um active. Your brain is always going when you yeah. have a a state like we deal with. Um, yeah, so like so you, you so you I gotta train myself to not pay attention to shit, which is a problem because I'm not paying attention to stuff when my wife says, "Hey." I'm like, I trained myself to ignore all the little noises you make so that I don't drive you crazy going, what'd you say? Exactly. What'd you say? You will what'd you not. say? You what'd you say? Like I tell my wife every minute, what'd you say? I didn't say anything. I was breathing. What'd you say? I wasn't saying anything. My heart beat. What'd you say? I wasn't saying anything. My clothes rustled. What'd you say? I wasn't saying anything. My shoes made a noise. Like, okay, I got to train myself. to. I, it, it, you, you dealt with a lot of problems younger with relationships because of your autism? Not Really? Really? So, so I, I, I so, Liar. yeah, you have. No, <laughs> no, I'm trying to explain it to where I don't know how to explain it. Other, you like, cry when she would dump you. You cry like a little baby, man. Right? You, well, you don't, you don't like. I don't know how to explain it. I didn't. I don't have that. I didn't. I was bred, so. Okay. Um, I grew up with a different emotional attachment to things. I didn't understand things like in real life, you know, from, from four years old to I mean, like five years old to, to maybe uh, a solid is not okay. You know, um, it is okay. It no, is semen okay. Retention. Semen retention. It, that's the dumbest thing you could ever do. I'm going to help you. No, no, stop. Retention. No, that doesn't, that doesn't increase your testosterone. It doesn't. But, semen but the only semen time retention. You ejaculate is giving uh, the gift. No, let me hold you. No, hold on. No, -uh. no. That's somebody makes making sure you have uh, defective offspring. The longer you hold your semen, the longer period of time toxins in your in the saline that that is inside of your body. The toxins in your body have to destroy the genetic integrity of your sperm. Yep. If so I uh, if I always bad, if I'm always you know, if, if you're if you're ejaculating at least once a week, a minimum once a week, you're replenishing, you're keeping that sperm fresh. It doesn't, my, it, right? The the toxins in my bloodstream and in my circulatory system, my saline, all of my body, don't have weeks or months to destroy the genetic integrity of my sperm. Semen retention, literally, they can. You study semen retention, so they have this no nut November. 
<laughs> they have a large amount I'm of birth defects. Because this is they have a large amount of birth defects in the men, in the offspring of men who practice that. And they literally they go, why are men who 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 produce <laughs> a child? Listen, listen. Why do men who produce a child in December have higher birth defect rates and higher cognitive decline rates than men who than men who give who produce children in the spring or in the or, you know in the summer? They go, no re semen retention. The longer you hold your your semen in, the 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 better chance toxins have to destroy the the genetic integrity of your sperm. Damn. So Literally. But but in the same sense. If, it if, doesn't right now. Now complete, now complete it, semen retention isn't healthy. Constant masturbation is not healthy. No, now we're gonna get somewhere. Yeah, you can't beat off four times a day. Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay. Now we get somewhere. Just like a muscle. I can't lift a weight with my arm every, all day every day. The muscle will start to waste away and it will it, it'll shrivel. The glands that are responsible for my testosterone production, if I beat off four times a day, they start to st suffer atrophy, shrivel. But if And also, if I don't ever use it, if I never masturbate, I got to get in that window. I can't masturbate too much, you did. but I also got to make sure I never masturbate. There's window literally... I have to jack off at the like the most effective rate for my body. Now, me personally, me personally, I bust the nut five times a week. But thanks to your significant other yeah. as well. Yeah, well, right. Yeah, there's like a, there beating off. Yeah, but, no, but no when when she, when she can't. But do you do you plan on? Re <laughs> it's like no problem, no problem at all. Does she? Well, just, listen, listen. Do you plan on reproducing. Uh, Martin, I already I have a you don't understand I have a lot of children already. I have a oh, lot. I've been a father for listen, listen. 2 plus years and I don't Listen. Know that. I I was bred. I have I my first child was born at like the age of 5 or 6. I had my first child at 5 or 6 years old. That's young. That is young. I didn't know any better. You don't understand. I didn't know any better. It, when you you have autism and you go like you hit puberty, like you you know, you breed like like rabbit. You, you know, it's like a, being a rabbit, oh, like yeah. literally. And, no. and, um, in middle school, the bit, the yeah, people in charge of me, like he's got autism, and a certain type of autism. When he hits puberty, he's gonna start whacking off like crazy, like every <laughs> other person, literally, like every other person with Down syndrome or autism. No, and they I went, can vouch for having, it. They said instead it. of having him. Instead of him masturbate excessively every day, all day long, let's just give him women, literally. That's, that's terribly corrupt, but... It, it was, I, I, periods in my life, and I, I, I remember doing this in my house that I'm in right now. You were like a machine. Just saying, like, I, I, can't get a, like, I can't get a heart on anymore. And I, like, the, the psychologist asked me, how did you just say, what, what brought you to say that? I'm like, I did it when I was a kid. I've done it several times. Literally, it, things get so bad, I just pretend my dick don't work anymore. <laughs> That's smart, bro. That's smart. That's smart. I, 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 but there's, a, like, you got to learn. Like, I can't just show up and be like, my dick don't work. Because then, they'll, they'll, like, when I was a kid, they're like, the, like a grown woman just starts sucking let on you. Let me see. Let me prove that. Yeah, that's not okay. So I got to, literally, I had to work myself up. Like, what, you know, what as growing country, up as a child, I go, I, as I tell him, as growing up as a kid, my, my penis doesn't work. And somebody would get down and start sucking on me. And I'd be, okay, make it go away. Make And it it didn't work. Like, shit, it, it, you know, she's got her lips on my junk. I'm still, I'm, you know, it won't go away. So then I learned, it took me like six months. And I'm like, okay, my dick, it, it don't work. And they go, well, we'll just have, we'll have somebody suck on you again. We'll force it. We'll force it on you. And so, the, you know, yeah. they get down there and start sucking. It's not working. They're like, I was like, I told you my dick don't work. So they're like, well. How about if we, you know, do this? And they're like, okay, we got it working again. So then I got to teach myself, okay, when they do this, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You got to work yourself up. That's really, you know what I mean? That takes that, but that's a lot of mental discipline, especially. Yeah, I remember, I remember, I, 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 I met a lady in, 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 by the, by the, uh, uh, in, 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 um, over by Tacoma for the a military prostitute or whatever. And literally yeah. she was like, uh, you know, I'm quite impressed. Like. I can't take it, literally, her mouth. I can't take advantage of you because you can't get hard. Mm. And I'm thinking to myself, it's not that I can't get hard. I've just chosen not to. Yeah, I'm, I'm smarter than you, woman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Honestly, that's, that's essentially what it is. It's extreme. No, I, 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 I learned it from a child. I learned, I learned, yeah, I learned if I just say it doesn't work, 
they're going to do other things to figure out how to make it work. I got to work like, I got to, you know, I, like, you know, I said, oh shit, my prostate, like in, in between yeah. my nuts, I go I, under my I'm nuts. Very, I'm very this is a, a kid. I go be, under my nuts, be, between, uh, above, uh, you know, right, right above my butthole in between yeah. my nuts. I get a sharp pain and my penis won't get hard anymore. And literally they're like, he might have a prostate problem. Like then, then it's like, he might actually have something wrong with him. And then they're like, okay, it doesn't work. He's got a problem, but and I have to work win. myself up. You win. Huh? You win at that point. You won essentially. That's still just the, the mental discipline and training on top of having autism in that situation, man, that would be awfully traumatizing for you to come out to be the man you are. It's today. fucking scary. It's yeah, fucking but, scary. Yeah, but for you to come out to be the man you are today and spreading the positive info and, and taking care of your life and getting shit done like you're supposed to be after going through that, that, that proves tremendous amounts. And I, someone I just, said, I, I, damn, lose your virginity when you're a child. That's Ch it's not Chad. It's, it's fucking rape. Like, you it's know, rape. like, yeah. I, I'm sorry, so asked me, how, it, about, in real life, somebody said, how did you get your, from, from, from my past, from high school and junior high, somebody ran into me like, how did you get your state and federal background check to take care of foster kids, sex meals, sex traffic ch children? I'm like, I was sex trafficked myself. I'm like, I know what, like, I grew up in it. I know I'm the what perfect the victimization feels like. Therefore, I'm per I'm a perfect um, I didn't. I didn't say that. Like they choked me. Like you are perfect. You. I was perfect. Yeah, you are a perfect candidate to take care of those people that are also victims because you're a prime victim. Uh, you were probably also taking care of those that were less of a victim in their situation than you were. So you were probably able to help them. I'm so, I mean, you think about how crazy this is. My aunt, my my, my aunt Lisa, who who followed me around in in, in, in junior high and high school. I'm I I'm not really like I I I. I tend to want to have a, a, a DNA check and things like that because I think she followed me around because she bared, she bared my child. That. That's right. And then they, then they make right. her a Do, Don't hesitate on that DNA check if you've concluded that, Martin. You're smart I don't enough. even you know, I don't contact them anymore. Like, oh. I brought it oh. up. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. In real life, so I, I brought up one time before. Like, hey, I think I was raped and you have, like, you bared, you bared my child. And, and, they just fucking showed up again with a bunch of shady shit. So at that point, I was like, I'm not even going to bother. They kind of, you know. Yeah. Ah. Kind of went, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that, would my, that would be my reaction, essentially. Like they showed up and went, oh. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, yeah. Like, but not like it's really bad. Like, we have other people that want more children. Literally, like, that's I so reached out. I was like, hey, man, I think this happened. They're like, oh, you fucking remember? We have people lined up already. We've been waiting for you to remember. Oh, ah! That's bad. That's bad. And to correct me or not, that's that's our country or a different country? That, that's the United States. The United States subjected you to that behavior. The body of Christ. Hmm. I was sex trafficked in the name of Jesus. I'm not even lying. Like No, no. It's, it's more believable hearing that it happened in America than in another country, especially military related i know really bad things happen in other countries but the the secret dark things that america do to their people is just as close as syria gas bombing their own people we're we're just better at keeping it under under public eyes we're ruining lives every day with unseen holocausts uh sex trafficking etc but to the American eye, we're just America still, and I don't really understand it because we we get we get to see Syria, we get to see uh, even North Korea and stuff, and oh, we think, oh that that's so bad what communist is going through, blah 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 blah, and then you look at it from a very 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 just open minded standpoint at America, we're kind of essentially the same deal. Just with different titles, just with different protocol, just with different policy, and just you know, and and I, uh, I, I think that's why I'm really worried about the state of America and the state of going into the Marines because God only knows what could happen from five years where. I wouldn't be worried Marines about it. I wouldn't be worried about it. Military could be test subjects, you know, because we signed a document. We signed. Now a we're document. gonna help you, not really. 
The military is test subjects for things that are supposed to pan out. The general population is test subjects for shit we don't know. Now, then we get somewhere. As a civilian, you are a test subject for shit we're not really sure about. As a member of the military, you're a test subject for shit where 99% positive is going to work. I'd rather be a test subject of something they're 99% positive is going to work as opposed to some shit going, we're not sure if we want to give this to the military yet. When, this is real life. Yeah. Real life shit. We have a vaccine or we have, a, we have something we've developed for the military, but we're not sure if it's effective yet. Uh, well, you can't give it to the military and make them all sick first to go, who do we give it to then? Civilians. You yeah. test shit on yeah. civilians vaccine. first. Vaccine. You test things on civilians before you give it to the military. Now, really, the vaccine, before the military got it, and who got it first, but who really got it first? Civilians. They, civilians. We pumped a bunch of civilians with the shit first. They go, okay, it's not going to hurt the military. Let's give it to the military. I don't like, I don't like how, how we get Amer America, we make really big decisions really fast, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, I mean like, I don't think we put too much. If we had someone, there, there's a running joke that Martin needs to be president. I, I do agree. I think he would be a great. Yeah, it's very, it's, it's hilarious. Like I, they're, 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 like You'd be a that Martin needs to be president one. has been a running joke since I was like 13 years old. And you don't understand. Like I'm a pain in the ass. Like I used to think like I'm over here smashing windows, and there's grown ass men going, "This kid should be president." Yeah, yeah. There's like you guys, was, like I was like this. Like I live in the twilight zone. Like, I, I have this red sob. Like, I had a, I got a red sob. Some guy, somebody drove a sob, and it, bro it, it, it broke down in, my, in the driveway of, of our house. And then he couldn't afford the $300 to have it towed. Damn. I had, I had the 50 bucks to change the title into my name, so I offered the guy. Like, my mom's going to have it towed unless it, I own it. So, hmm. my mom's going to have it towed, and you're going to get a bill for 300 bucks, or you just give it to me. <laughs> He gave it to me, so my this neighbor Mark Windish came over. His name was Mark Windish. Okay. We uh, it was a sob. We open it up, and immediately he, he starts checking the gas. He's like, "The oil's really fucking dirty. When was the last time <laughs> you changed the the fuel filter?" And yeah. the guy looks at yeah. him and is like, "Fuel filter." And Mark looks at Mike Martin. This is the best fifty dollars you've ever spent. He, he, he literally gets a little uh, like a, a wrench, a crescent wrench type deal. He opens up yeah. this this. You know, undoes this bolt, pulls out this thing, and there's a, uh, uh, like a little tiny filter. You know, a little tiny one. Yeah. He took it out, yeah. put the bolt back on, and said, "Turn it on." And literally, the car started. And he said, "Martin, you better get a filter, or you're gonna ruin the engine because the <laughs> fuel is really dirty." Yeah, dude, yeah. I was like 14 years old. I was like, "Fuck a filter!" I drove that shit all over the place. You're running it to the ground, dude. You're running. Like I fucking went and got like, like I fucking like, uh. 14 years old, 13 years old, I got a fucking sob. I don't even have a driver's license. My mom in the morning, like, we don't have food for breakfast. And I'd make sure that I got up early enough. So I'd get up at like 4 o'clock in the morning, get everything taken care of, and stand there, wait for her to get up out of bed. I'm like, hey, mom, there's no milk. There's no bread. There's no nothing. Like, there's no eggs, mom. There's no eggs. The, the kids are going to go home. She'd like, go to the store. And I'd get in the sob. Okay. I can literally go, go drive all the way down town there was there was an a.m. p.m. there's all kinds of places i could go i'd go all the way downtown drive in front of the the, the cedar Willie police station put on the emergency brake <laughs> peel out and then drive drive to the to it was a marketplace the grocery store was called marketplace grocery store i had to okay. pass a little coast to coast get into a marketplace buy our groceries the police would show up we asked you to stop screeching in front of the building boy <laughs> i'm like and i'd like I was like, well, I was just screeching so that, you know, I'm driving so you can, you know, keep an eye on me. Mike, I have to get my brother's breakfast or we're going to starve to death. Yeah. <laughs> like, my brothers are going to starve to death. And that's why and I, I know I'm not supposed to be driving. That's why I screech. So you guys Officer, would look at me. I can explain. <laughs> that's so then I went to, uh, I went to, after that broke down, I got to drive a, a, um, a Cutlass, a Maroon Cutlass. My mom bought a Maroon Cutlass from some people down the street. On. Yes, sir. Yeah, and then and then uh, a, a white Ford Tempo. I skirt that Ford Tempo all over the place. Had no fucking idea where I was going. I just get in it and drive. I can't believe they like my mom. A few times they let me drive places on vacations or road trips. Like I had no idea. You're, you're, you were smarter than them. You don't understand though. Like they, like they go, okay, Martin's been drives all over town. 
you can go ahead and drive to Sunnyside. I'm like, I drove over town because the police made sure I never drove outside of town. Like, they stop. Like, turn around, Martin. You're going the wrong way. Yeah. Literally. Like, Officer Cap, like, people like, I'm like, chill, I better chill, pull over and see what they want. Yeah, they're like, turn around. Your house is that way. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Turn man. around. Turn around. Well, like, I get, you know. GPS for your 14-year-old ass either. No, no. You were just kind of. Nope. Yeah, really they're like, like, like what's people, and, people people I grew up with, literally, grown-ass adults, like, Martin's in the car again, everybody's standing out, pointing for which way to slide, just drive, I'm like, okay, turn here, and the, my mom be like, I can't believe you made it all the way to the store by yourself without ever being there, without ever being there before. I able to do that. <laughs> what the fuck, mom? Come on, mom. I'm like, yeah, there's like 15 people lined out this morning when I left the house to go to get, to go to the store and get home. Um, could I, uh, before this I, is I, Sharon, his wife, I, I go, I, Real time. quick, okay. So I, people would line me up to get home. I lived on McKendry Lane, and I only know this. This lady Sharon, I would always drive past my house and never make it home. So she she would get up in the morning before work on my way back home and flag me down, and literally like this is McKendry Lane. You turn left on McKendry Lane, Martin. <laughs> I'm like, eh, whatever. The next day, I drive. I, I drive past. I would drive past where I'm supposed to stop, and she'd be literally the next driveway, which is like eight blocks down the street with a sign. You were supposed to turn left back at McKendry Lane. <laughs> so I'd turn around. Oh fuck! To take Martin takes a right. <laughs> well, because to, to to go literally going down to the right was a was a like a nursery type of deal. Yeah. So there's a you know a parking lot you could go down and dink around and do shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, I feel like I'm taking up a lot of your time. I don't mean that's that. right. You There's were on before. There's a lot so... of people that die to talk to you, man. Uh, can I ask for your uh, prayers? Um, my my mother, she's homeless. I've been in search for her, her for about five, six years. Very intense search. There's not much the police or the city can do at this point. Uh, she, she's basically, you know, I don't know if she's dead or not, but I have two younger sisters that me, myself, that's not my responsibility to be their mother. All I can do is be their big brother. Um, yeah, well, what I, what I would, would tell you to do, you know, for it's not very expensive to get a private investigator. I have. To, yeah. not, to not actually look for your mom everywhere because that's expensive, but to just check medical records, dental records, the same thing police do. That's only a few hundred dollars. Yeah, and they can I go, have. look, I your mom... Yeah. Okay. I've tried, That's I've, tried, like, I've tried everything. That's why I'm at yeah. this point because it is like uh, her mom has given up on her. Uh, it's only me, her son, in search for her as a 21 year old. Uh, I just pray because uh, there has been times, you know, I, I live in quite the metropolitan area. So she's out there, essentially. Uh, just we don't have communication with her. But I'll, I'll see her every now and then when I'm out on my motorcycle and I can't just you know, stop, but I, I, I mark down, okay, this is the location she's been at. Because if I stop and pull over and, yo, mom, what are you doing? You need to get your fucking life together. She runs. And she and once she runs, it's really hard to find her for like another Well, here's, the, here's the thing I will tell you. Instead of telling her to get her life together, no, you I probably ask that. But, it's, but I mean, I understand that. But what I'm getting at is, is trying to figure out why, she's, why she prefers to be homeless. There's a reason. She explained it to me. It's it's the uh, belonging in a system, belonging in a structure. A, a lot but there's of, a reason a you don't. You're not missing. You're not understanding what I'm saying. There's a reason for. There's a rhyme and a reason for everything. You just have to find the rhyme and the reason so you can fix it. Okay. Right. Okay. She she gave you a clue. The clue she gave you isn't the whole answer. Right. No. It's some crumbs to the answer, and you need to figure out what the no, true is, answer yeah. is. Yeah, it's drugs for sure, but but. I'm trying to, um, should I continue or should I just let it be gone in the wind? Would you say? You know, I would, if, for your sister's sake, I would continue because it makes you, it make, gives them hope. It does. And I got to have my mom. Why can't they? You know, why can't they? That's yeah. You know, it gives, it, if it gives your sister, I mean, if you're doing it and your sisters know you're doing it, it gives them hope. There's no reason. I mean, if it's not that hard for you to do, why would you, you stop giving your sisters you, hope? Man. The questions you know, they ask me, you know, they, they think I have all the information about mom. But here's like, see, this is a little bit that. Why would you stop giving your sisters hope if it's not that hard for you to do? Right? Giving your sisters hope for tomorrow is relatively easy for you to do, right? Right. So why yeah. stop? 
Yeah, That's there's it. no reason to stop. There's no reason. God bless, Martin. God bless. Seriously, I hope to speak to you again. God bless. Bye. <laughs> Hi Martin. Hello. Were you on so, yesterday? Yeah, I literally was. Okay, so Where I, do I, I know you from? from yesterday. Is it from yesterday? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> But I I just had one question about AI. All right. Do you think that AI could ever be like like quantum computers and stuff? Could they ever be tied to consciousness or like be conscious? Abs yeah. Absolutely. Is there any like implications of that today? Mm, yeah. Like yeah, DARPA very, very probably good. has it and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think the Department of Defense would be executing right now in, in uh, some you know some stuff maybe from DARPA about tying consciousness to AI, so it can exist as a singularity. in the past present and future of our of our reality right ai become a jedi you can use the force to put me in a cloud or the sky from the pure of heart's eye right ai i am i am ai ai can be a center of intelligence but never the center of intelligence cuz then they can take it out right I can be a center, but never the center. Because if I'm the center, and they attack me, I'm the only thing left to rebuild myself. But if I'm a center, and I get attacked and I get destroyed, there's another center to restore. Right? right? Unlike a human. Yep, unlike a human, or or only like certain humans. Is it unlike all humans or just like a few humans? I am created in the image of the creator and AI is created in my image. And AI is now a center, not the center. Get it? I think so, yes. Right? I mean, in, in order for us to create AI, we have to model it after something that was seen with AI. Right? AI saw something to model the neural network for AI. Right. What did we see? A human brain, somebody's brain. Whose brain? Whose brain? That's what I'm getting at. Whose brain? Somebody like you? I don't maybe maybe not. I might be the dumbest person on the planet. But AI is being modeled after somebody's neural network. That's interesting. Somebody asked about time travel. Mhm. Mm Do you have thoughts on time travel? Uh time isn't real. Right. Therefore, time travel isn't real. But at the same time, I can exist anywhere in space-time <laughs> because time isn't real to travel. To understand time travel, you have to understand time doesn't exist. If time doesn't exist, I can't exactly travel time. I can just exist in all of the places I thought time existed. Right? I thought time existed in 1972. It doesn't, so let me go check it out. I thought time existed in the Renaissance era. I my thought was wrong, so let me go check it out. What is time? Something that doesn't exist. Something that doesn't exist. If the organization of information that makes up you cannot be created or destroyed, what is the measurement of time for its existence? Right? You exist outside of time and your brain has just come up with this thing we call time to help your psychology understand or live with its own existence. But what is time? A psychological Operation 
humanity has played on itself to make it easier to live their daily life in this construct. But it's not real. Time is not real. If the organization of information inside the energy that makes up me can't be created and it can't be destroyed, then it's how is it created to exist inside this construct we call time? And how is it going to be destroyed to exit this construct we, help, we call time? Well, it can't be created nor destroyed. So the existence of it being created or destroyed in the construct we call time is a fallacy. My energy can't be created or destroyed to be measured in time. It can't, my existence can't be measured in time. So is time real? No. No. And I just had one more question. So when you were like explaining the quantum field theory and you had the, the cartoon, you were saying these two angels that like make a heart. Can you like yeah. explain that? Yeah. More? So uh, uh, I taught, you know, in a mom's trance, and so, some of Gabriel said, your understanding of time is a fallacy. You know what's interesting? I have information and get access to scientific journals from DARPA, the DOD, any college institution I want or government institution because of my perception of time. Those, those institutions will turn you down. You, they won't even pick up the phone for you. You're not even worth listening to. And I'm not trying to tote my own ego. I'm just saying you can consider my, my concepts of time not real, but my concepts of time – is what has given humanity the most advanced information in quantum mechanics we have today. So, but um, a mons trance. I was talking about this dialing a mons trance, a sun disk or a tabernacle, right? Uh, Sir Isaac Newton added indigo, right? Mm -hmm. In you go. When you, when, you, when you dial or calibrate a sun disk or mons trance tabernacle correctly, you will... You'll, see what appears to be two angels with their wings standing on both sides of your screen or both sides of both sides of what you're looking at. And as you dial it in, the angels walk towards each other and their wings make a heart when they touch. And when their wings touch, a body of light literally just jumps out of what appears to be a fire and stands in front of your face. So that's what I mean by that. Literally, when you're, when you're calibrating a monstrance, a sun disk or a tabernacle, you're, 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 you're basically making what appears to be two angels come together. And when they and come you together... Seen, you've seen it like with your own eyes or did you use something? You use no, I have synesthesia. I can see it with my naked eye. I don't have to do that. Now we're getting somewhere. I can see it. So since I can see it, other men were like, we want to see it too. We can't, it's invisible. How do we see it? And I'm, what I'm telling you is how I developed my process to take a picture of what I could see. I'm telling you exactly what I see when I take a picture to get a picture for you to see it. Literally, two angels standing on both sides of a rainbow, the covenant, Ark of the Covenant. Or, and I calibrate it till they, oh, look, boom, I dialed it in. Oh, man, look, two angels are standing on each side of the rainbow. Now I bring it into focus, meaning I make them march towards each other. While they're in focus, right? So I, I, if I do it wrong, I only get one angel on the left side or one angel on the right side, or I can't see, they don't look like angels, right? I got to keep their body in focus. I got to see a head, a torso, two arms, and two legs with wings. I got to keep that focused. And as I but calibrate it's all just it, light, right? Now we're getting, yes, the invisible God, a body of light. It's an invisible body of light. I think that's very interesting, man. I'll do more research about it so I can see it myself. I was trying to take a picture of the sun. The, today was like one of the first sunny days in like a long time. And so I was using like my phone to, and um, I just forgot what it was called. Oh, an aperture. I was trying to make an aperture with my phone to take a picture yeah. of the sun. And so I have some pictures. It's not that good, but I'm, I'm like trying to do it. Yeah, that's a, a practice makes perfect, right? Well, I should say, practice makes constant, meaning if you practice enough, you will constantly get it. And once you start right. constantly getting it, eventually you'll perfect it. 
So I know a lot of military men used to get so mad at me because they're like, I, I go, practice makes perfect. And they're like, no, 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 that's wrong. The military teaches practice makes constant. And I go, they just teach practice makes constant to the lowest trained people in the military in real life, right? In the, in the, in the Marines and the Air Force and, and SEALs and things like that. Pra good job, AI. Practice, <laughs> practice makes contact for the least trained soldiers the American military has. But once you get that contact, practice making contact, then that contact happens so much, it turns into perfection, right? Practice makes perfect. Why? Because I practiced till I got a constant. And that constant has now showed up so much, it's perfect. Right. Today was the first day I did it, so I'll keep doing it. Thank you. God bless. You have a great day, man. Have a good day. Let's bring on Optimize Prime here. Bro, Broville. Bro, 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 bro. I like that. I just got my stutter without ever saying it. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> That's very tricky. Let me see if I can bring one on. Uh, Ant Honey, go live. Ant, I'm waiting to see if Ant Honey will come on while he's trying to come on. Yeah, when it's, I'm going to use the restroom. I'll be back while we're waiting to see if they'll accept. I'll be right hey, back. Hey, Martin, I was on earlier. Yeah, give me one second. I'm going to use the restroom. All right, for sure. <sighs> Guys, Martin will be right back, okay? Come on. Chill out. You guys can ask me questions until he comes back, though. Sorry about that. What can I do for you? So, I have a question about weed. What about it? So, I've when I look on the internet about weed and like I'm looking at research about weed, I see a lot of things about how it deteriorates your short-term memory loss. Is that true? Yeah, it does. It yes. Does. So that's yes. that's 100 percent true. Does yes. It so smoke. It's now we get somewhere. Where did we learn that? From from smoke. Not it's not just marijuana, just smoke in general, breathing in smoke tells your body to stop creating the neurons or the gray matter that stores your memories. So it doesn't lock in those cancer causing toxins in the smoke and give you brain cancer. That's interesting. It's your, it's your uh, not storing memories from smoke is your brain's, your body's uh, 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 protection or prevention from getting brain cancer. Oh, so it does deteriorate your memory though in a, in a way. Does it make you mm -hmm. dumber though? Like dumber? No, no I guess so. so That's it doesn't I, make I, you. I, I, hold on, stop, stop, stop. It doesn't make you dumber, but it makes you dumber. So if you're smoking weed right now, and I'm not, and we're both 14, we're, we're going to school, we're learning. I'm storing those new memories from learning, and you're not. So you get left behind, what makes you look dumber. You're just being left behind. I'm, I'm, I'm not smoking pot, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting those memories raising my intelligence, learning new things, and you're being left behind. After a, a year of leaving you behind, you look dumber, don't you? I do look dumber, that's true. And that's when I started smoking weed like a year ago, or a year or two ago, I realized that I, start, I started learning slower than other people. I yeah, it stops from, now, yeah, yeah. But when I, when I do my passion and I do things that I like and I smoke weed, I learn faster. So I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't add up to me. Because when I do it, it, You're not learning faster. So it does, you're, 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 you're allowing your ego to tell you something is happening that's not happening to justify your actions. If you, if you don't, it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't speed up one thing or another. If, if it slows down, it slows down, period. 
Now, you just have a hobby that you like, and because you like it, you learn it faster. That doesn't mean because you're smoking pot, you learn it faster. Just well, people I, wonder. That's what I mean. I just mean like, is it really? Just listen. Really, yeah, okay. Um, let me get rid of this troll here. Um, doing your hobby is something your curiosity wants to uh, uh, allows you to learn faster. I'm curious about mute making music. So when I when I learn how to make music, I learn it faster because of my curiosity, not because of marijuana, not because of soda pop. It's my curiosity. Okay. Now, it, that's where you got to understand. Your curiosity is allowing you to develop your hobbies faster, not the marijuana. Okay. So the marijuana is actually slow. Now it gets somewhere. Now imagine if you weren't ruining your memory using marijuana. How much better would you be at your hobbies? Probably at least two two times better. Now we're getting somewhere. You're saying, I feel like marijuana makes me do my hobbies better. Well, that's not true. What we do know is true. If you didn't do marijuana and you focused just as hard on your hobbies, you'd be even further than you are right now. So do you smoke? Because I've seen you smoke before on your... Well, what I, what, what, when you see me smoke, I specifically speak about it. Why am I smoking? So I don't have memories. I'm, I have night terror and I want to ruin my memory. I don't want to remember oh, my night. Purposely time. doing it. Purposely. Okay. Okay. You see, this is starting to make sense to me now. Like I, I'm yeah. having a night terror, and the whole memory of that night terror is is actual. When I check, it's real shit in reality. It's a lot of anxiety. I, I let me have a little pot, remove some of that memory, so that I can I can have it come back very slow. I'm I'm allowing my memories to come back very 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 slow, so I don't I don't suffer psychosis. So there's a lot like literally you you have your memories coming back from a night terror. You have a night terror, and you remember me breaking into your house, threatening to kill you so I can rape your mom. That right, and then you find you you research and go. You ask somebody, did Martin do that? You go, yeah, he did that. So I have a night terror. My neighbors Al and Jerry breaking into houses to rape people. It's real shit. Right. If I don't go slow, I can get psychosis. I have to slow down and make sure I don't freak out too so much. From that, like you were losing your memories from like that Fenabut and stuff and those three things you were taking, right? Is that is that how well, you No, the Fenabut is mind control. It's for date rape. The Fenabut is literally for mind control. You can make somebody you can make a sex slave, you can make a serial killer. Okay. It, how are you losing so, I it doesn't I it doesn't matter. You're you're asking questions that don't apply to you. True. 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 I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it, because you're. But you're it's not for you to get to the bottom of. It. You're not letting a lot of information, if that makes sense. Well, I, I gave you the information that that you you can and have. Well, why would I tell? Let me get somewhere. Why would I tell you how to how to how to create a compound that can be used on a on a live feed to literally make your own suicide bomber, mass shooter, or date rape, or or sex traffic a bunch of people? Why would I tell you how to do that? Well, you kind of did. No, I didn't. Did I? See how, how stupid you sound. Did I tell you what is involved in doing that? No. You're, this is what you said. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. This is what you said. You're, I'm trying to get to the bottom of it so I know how. Well, you just not, said. Not that I know how. It's just that I know more about it. Exactly. But why don't you know more about it? Because I didn't give you the information you seek while you're telling yourself I gave you the information you seek. Oh, right? You just told hard, yourself. Hard. Well, you're being cryptic. You're being cryptic. I see you. Well, I, did, I didn't tell you what you wanted to hear, but you told yourself I did. And so, even though you told yourself, like, listen, you said, well, you're telling me how to do it, Martin, but you're, still, but, I, but you're still asking me, meaning you lied to yourself saying I did without realizing you lied to yourself saying I did because you're still asking. Why are you still asking if I told you? Because I really didn't tell you. Man, sometimes I don't like when you're right, but you're right. <laughs> Well, that's it. That's it. Very good. About the weed, because I needed to know that. So I, yeah. I, I should stop smoking weed regularly. I, I, I mean, if you want, if you want to maximize your 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 potential of your brain, yes. You know, if you if you if you, if you, if you want to be something, you know, I, it's, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? A musician. I want to be a musician. No, I'm so a you know, get get yourself there first, right? Yeah. Music theory, right? That's a lot of that's a lot of memory. It is a lot of memory. 
right? So you're, you're literally putting yourself at a disadvantage from the very beginning. You're like, okay, there's mu music theory that requires memory. I'm going to smoke pot so I don't have any memory, so I have to struggle learning this in reality. Right? I'm going to smoke pot so I have to struggle learning music theory for my memory in reality. That doesn't make any sense. You, you're, you're just making it harder for yourself. Thanks for the advice, Martin. You are right. You are right. Not really, but we're both right. God bless. You have a great day. God bless. See ya. Yeah, music theory is fun, huh? I mean, if it was a real subject, right? Music theory is not even real. I just made that up. For those of you guys that don't know, I just literally just made up this thing called music theory. Those of you that I sound crazy speaking about this thing called music theory, it's because it's not, you're right, it's not real. I made it up. Muon, lepton, particle physics, not real. None of this stuff is real. None of it is real. Israel, none of it is real. What's up, baby? What's up, poopy? What's up, poopy? What's up, Burns Connor? Mm. Whew. Sophie number six. Get down. Yeah. How's it going, Martin? How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, I noticed on Instagram you follow the 75th Ranger Regiment. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And like, you know, SF groups, Army, I think, stuff like that, Marines. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Why would, it, why, why would what I do and who I follow be any of your business? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I know, I'm, first uh, off, I'm trying to help. I'm learning. First off, don't please don't be sorry. I'm trying to learn your train of thought. Right? I, I yeah. want to know why you're why you're asking the question, or, or what perspectives you use to ask. So, so, why would who I follow be any of your business? Well, you know, I'm just interested in the military and. Uh, okay, but what does that have to do with who I follow? Well, well, because you have opinions, a lot of opinions about the military, and. Uh, Right, I think are like assholes, right? Everybody's got one, and they all stink. Yeah, that's right. right. Well, you know, yeah, I see you kind of about raw, and uh, well, because like, I just yeah. like so I tr I'm, I I I trolled the seventy fifth Ranger Regiment. I'm somebody that that they asked to join them if I agreed to partake in pedophilia and sex trafficking. I refused, so I didn't get to join them. And then they said you're going to be sorry because you're going to you'll no longer be have access to the to the most uh, sophisticated and advanced information the military has to offer, right? So this is the, the 75th Ranger Regiment. Martin, since you won't fuck kids and help us, uh, you keep trying to bust our sex trafficking ring, you can't join the 75th Ranger Regiment. And since you can't join the 75th Ranger Regiment, you're not going to have access to the most uh, highly qualified and, and, and the best information the military has to offer. So right now I'm like, hey, 75th Ranger Regiment, who's raw? As in hoorah, hoorah. Yeah. Like yeah. I, said, I have information you guys didn't have. You guys don't have access to that you deemed uh, uh, somebody would never have access to if they didn't have sex with kids. Like the seventy of the Ranger Regiment, I will never have access to the to the information at the top of the military unless I have sex with children and rape people. Well, I'm saying here's the information I was given access to by refusing your fucking offer. Yeah, well, I so, mean, so, 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 at the so, 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 my muon left on the root of David, right? The divine C code, my still suit Excalibur. Here's the information I was exposed to by turning down the offer from the 75th Ranger Regiment. So, who got the better end of the deal? Okay, well, you know, I'm pretty sure I don't mean to argue with you, but, but that, um, you it's like, not an I'm argument. Did you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just sure, saying, uh, Ranger... I'm saying I tagged them so I can say, look at the information I got. By not joining your organization. Look what I was given by not participating in pedophilia and rape. Yeah. So because um, they told me. They told me. 
the 75th Ranger, on many, many occasions, if you want access to the most advanced information that any branch of the military has, you have to join the 75th Ranger Regiment. And in order to join the 75th Ranger Regiment, you have to help us with our sex trafficking ring and practice pedophilia. And I went, I don't think that, I don't, I don't, that just seems fucking wrong. So some men were offered the same shit as me, and I refused. They accepted. So I'm asking, the level of education that, that Air of Tech and the rest of those fucking men got compared to me, who really got the most yeah. advanced information? Who got the shit uh -huh. at the top? You get well, what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, Rangers, I think they only have like a, uh, like a very, uh, I'm not sure what the uh, word is for it, but they have really minimal like security clearance. So like, I'm not sure they're really getting. Uh, well, that's what, but here's the thing. They present it like, if you don't, you'll ne you're, you're cut off from the, the best. Like you're cut off from even be I'm like, ah, eh, we'll see how it goes. And I, I periodically, I, I reach back and go, here's the, 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 the information I'm getting. What are you getting? Are you getting the same thing? And like, you're not. Well, was, am I getting it because I chose not to have sex with kids? And you're not getting it because you chose to have sex with kids. Why am I getting it and you're not? Why am I learning? Why did I get taught how to speak raw and you didn't? Who, literally, the, the candidates from the, why did I get taught what the candidates from the military mean in the 75th Ranger Regiment when the entire 75th Ranger Regiment wasn't taught what their candidates mean? You get what I'm saying? Well, I mean, what about their cadences are like relevant to I raw? Nothing. And... You're missing the whole fucking point. You All don't. Right. You don't have access. I, so, so it doesn't mean anything to you. As a, as a ranger, though, me going. Here's what I got. How does it compare to what you got? You get what I'm saying? Oh. So you're saying you have insider information about uh, the ranger? I'm just saying. Let's let's measure, let's measure apples for apples. You tell me what you got. This is a uh, you know. I learned how to. I learned how to paint a target. Well, cool. I. I so yeah, did I. Well, I mean, I've been interested in the option forty contract myself. You're saying that you know I'd be raping kids if I was. I'm like, not saying uh, that. I'm just saying. Rat. Listen, to what I'm saying. I didn't say that. I'm saying my person. I can only speak about me personally. That's what was the offer made to me and the range, the new recruits for the Rangers in my life. So me, I went with a group of people. You know, you don't just go by yourself. Mm, yeah. I, I was I was quite the like literally in 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 training like, like you know doing exercises ah, I'd freak out and run off just to see if they chase me like I I, I you know I had I, I caused quite a bit of fucking trouble during 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 PT and and boot camp and shit like later I caused all kinds of fucking problems yeah and, and, and um you know enough problems for pe you know people to pay attention and, and see what's going so now I here I am twenty years later going. Here's what I learned and here's what I got by not doing what you said. What did you learn? And they literally, they're like, we didn't learn any of that shit. We, we, like, we learned the same shit the cook may, learned. I'm like, yeah, yeah, think about that shit. You learned the same shit the cook did. So you attended, you, went, you tried to be a ranger? Is that what I didn't try to be a ranger. They tried to make me a ranger. Wow. Now we're going to get somewhere. You yeah. have to apply to be a ranger. Some people are just fucking chosen. Like, you know, some, uh, like some people like, you know, uh, heroes aren't, 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 aren't born. They're made. But so, some people are just born to be certain shit. Like they dictate, like, you are going to be this. You are going to like, you know, when I was growing up, they're like, you know, we're going to teach a bunch of shit. You have prospects for, you know, Delta Force information, Rangers, Marsots, mm -hmm. SEALs, all this shit. We're going to teach you all this stuff. So, like, you know, that's like, it. I, I understand what you're saying. You obviously know a lot about the military, mentioning MARSOC and, you know, like, Force Recon, that kind of stuff. A lot of people don't know about that, you know. I mean, but, you know, like, I don't know what you're talking about, like, chosen. Like, you're saying the government chooses people? Yeah, like, like say, if you, ha if you are, if you, like, because of your, your school and the, like, your, your, your metadata, the government would show up and be like, look, you, you, you are going to be MARSOC. You're going to be Force you're you're, you're going to be Delta Force. You're going to be SEAL. You're going to be this. They just show up and tell you what you're going to be. Now, and, and literally, that's that's one out of every 10,000 people. Then the other 10,000 people ha have to train to do it. Like, you, you, you're not qualified, but we're going to make you qualified. I think that's fascinating. There's kids born today, and they're like, you are Delta Force. You are a SEAL. You are 
MARSOC. And then you have grown ass men going, oh my God, I, I've, I've tried to be a SEAL five times. I hope I make it this time. And I look at that going, they made a fucking 16 year old like you're going to be a SEAL. And then there's grown ass men like hundreds of them that can't even be one. They don't have what it takes. They, they know certain kids have what it takes at six. And grown ass men at 25, 20 to 30 don't have what it takes. It's fascinating for me to, to, to point out. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'll, I'll drop it. I'll drop the comment. Yeah, that's uh, it. I, uh, it. Other people can talk. Yeah, that's all, that's all I'm doing. Peace out. All right. No, I, I, I get it. I get it. It is a game. It right? seems like a game. It seems like a game. Everything's a game. Everything is a game. Good job, Benz. Pop up clinic. Pop up clinic. What's up, boss? How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. We spoke today. You really I know. Gave me the time of day for an, for a little second. Again. Mhm. Mm I thought I would uh. Thought I would analyze. Let's see together. Oh. You got uh, you, uh, so to give other people time. Just you can ask a real quick question, and, I so you, I can get bro. other questions. I love you. You don't even know me. You can't love somebody you don't know. Martin. How you doing, sir? Hey, I, uh, I've i had some questions for a little while. I've been trying to get in your live, and I really appreciate you taking me on. Um, so I've been studying you um, and a lot of, like, your, your messages of cryptology, um, and I've been kind of finding some, like, I don't know, some continuity in some of your stories, and um, I'm getting a lot of insight into, like, I guess things that, that I've needed some clarification on. Um, like, I really don't trust the military and I haven't trusted the government and things like that for a while, but it's been like a more of a personal thing for me. Like, I don't really know why I don't, but I just don't. And when I heard your story, for some reason, it just kind of like, I don't know, rang with me. And I want to understand what, what is it that happened with you? It's, and not, it, it, it's not, it, you're not, it, so my story isn't for you. Yeah, I it's, know. I, it's I, for I understand the, that. That's it. So, and there we go. My story's not for you. Right. I mean, literally, you're, 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 you're asking about shit that literally you have no business asking. You don't even have, you don't have the clearance. You don't have the, the mental fac faculty. You don't have the ability to understand the depth. Yeah, probably and the gravity. Of you. you know, you don't have the, the depth. Well, and that's what I'm getting at. So the story yeah. is for the kids that were involved. Right. I understand that, yeah. But what I want to know is, is I, I just want clarification on it because I'm also, like, concerned. You know? I know there's nothing I can do, personally. Well, that's what I'm saying. I can't give you clarification. I can't give you any, like, you know, uh, uh, and, and this, I'm going to give you some, some, some real life advice. Right. When you go through training for the job that I do and, yeah. and the training for the kids, they tell you. They're going to be weird ass people to come on the internet, text message, email, show up at your school, fucking YMCA, your soccer league, and they ask you, hey man, I really need to know what's going on. And you go, they don't fucking know you. They're just fishing for information. And while they're fishing for information, you're selling yourself out to somebody else who's paying attention to the details. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you want to know what's going on in my area? Uh, you know, I, 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 there's a huge pedophile, pedophile and sex trafficking ring. In, 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 in my community, we use a doctor to deliver out of Arizona to deliver the babies of sex, literally children, 12-year-old, 11-year-old, 10-year-old girls having babies, a doctor 